I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice dream. If you want a milkshake made with real deal ice cream, there's a handful of fast food joints you'll want to hit up, and a few you won't. Many fast food restaurants skirt around using real ice cream in their milkshakes. In order for frozen dairy treats to be called ice cream, the USDA says the frozen mixture must weigh no less than 4.5 pounds per gallon and contain 20% milk solids, of which 10% must be milk fat. There are also other stipulations regarding added ingredients like crushed cookies or fruit. Luckily, Sonic passes the ice cream test. The drive-in restaurant was founded initially as Top Hat Drive-In in 1953 by Troy Smith in Shawnee, Oklahoma. They say the third time's the charm to succeed with an endeavor. For Smith, it took until attempt number four to make the restaurant work. Top Hat Drive-In grew as Smith innovated, eventually becoming the Sonic we know today. Smith must have been onto something, because Sonic is still going strong and still offers milkshakes and delicious flavors made with real ice cream. It even states on its menu that their ice cream is real and made with milk and cream. This says it all. Due to the legal restrictions around the frozen treat, Sonic wouldn't be able to list ice cream as an ingredient if it wasn't. Plus, its website states that the company hand blends real ice cream and flavorings into the customer's chosen milkshake flavor. The result is a thick, delicious treat topped with whipped topping and a cherry. As one half of the restaurant's namesake, we would be pretty disappointed if Steak and Shake didn't use real ice cream in its shakes. Founded in 1934 in Normal, Illinois, Steak and Shake made its name serving up burgers and milkshakes. While much of the focus has been on the meat end of things, the company has not forgotten about the quality of its milkshakes. Steak and Shake has 17 different flavors of milkshakes, with each one using a base of real ice cream. But Steak and Shake doesn't stop there with its recipe. Each handmade milkshake also contains real milk. While some companies skip using real whipped cream, Steak and Shake also opts to serve authentic whipped cream and a cherry to finish off its shakes. At Steak and Shake, we serve old-fashioned milkshakes. They're hand-dipped, made with real milk, and topped with whipped cream and a cherry. Since it's in the restaurant's title, it should come as no surprise that Brewster's Real Ice Cream uses real ice cream. In 1989, Bruce Reed founded Brewster's in Bridgewater, Pennsylvania. Since then, the company has grown to over 200 locations across the United States, Guyana, and South Korea. Brewster serves over 24 flavors of ice cream, which are made on a daily basis in each individual shop. This process guarantees that not only are the shops using real ice cream, but they are also using freshly made products as the basis for their milkshakes. Any Brewster's ice cream flavor can be turned into a milkshake. The shakes are hand-spun to creamy perfection and use real milk. For those who like a traditional shake, chocolate and vanilla are available options. But if you like to mix it up, you'll never get bored trying out Brewster's many flavors. While there are at least 24 flavors each day, flavors rotate. According to the company website, there are more than 240 flavors total. If you want a milkshake made with real ice cream, Brewster's won't let you down. In-N-Out Burger started in California in 1948. However, its first milkshake didn't officially make it onto the menu until 1975, when it premiered its ice cream-based milkshake. As the company expanded, it hasn't lost the taste for crafting classic milkshakes. The company's website proudly proclaims that its milkshakes contain real ice cream. It's the best. Frankly, In-N-Out Burger doesn't provide much more information than that. However, a former employee spilled on Reddit about how the company makes its ice cream. Ice cream is shipped in liquid form and then frozen in the store. To make the milkshakes, the then frozen ice cream is mixed with whatever syrup flavor is ordered. When Jack's Family Restaurant first came onto the scene in 1960, it served milkshakes for 20 cents a piece, just like the original McDonald's. But unlike McDonald's, Jack's uses real ice cream in its milkshakes. 
Jax makes milkshakes using its hand-dipped ice cream. The ice cream is hand-mixed to create delectable milkshake flavors like Moose Tracks, Smoky Mountain Fudge, and Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Jax does not make its ice cream in-house. Instead, the chain gets its ice cream from Mayfield Dairy, which has been churning it out since 1923. Mayfield definitely meets the definition of ice cream, as the first two ingredients of its vanilla are cream and buttermilk. With Mayfield Dairy ice cream by the company's side, Jack successfully brings real ice cream milkshakes to the masses. We expect that with a name focused on milkshakes, Shake Shack's product will live up to the hype and use real ice cream. To its credit, it does. In 2001, Shake Shack was a New York hot dog stand. The cart became so popular that by 2004, Shake Shack opened a more permanent restaurant serving hamburgers, hot dogs, crinkle cut fries, and milkshakes. Shake Shack has since expanded to be much larger, but the chain still offers versions of those foods. While all the food is great, Shake Shack milkshakes are something special. They are made using a house-made premium ice cream, which is also known as frozen custard. This may sound confusing because, as we mentioned, ice cream is a specific legal category, so allow us to decode some of the terminology for you. Premium ice cream is ice cream that exceeds the minimum standard of fat content in ice cream with high-quality ingredients. Meanwhile, custard is ice cream, but with the addition of at least 1.4% egg yolks. That said, Shake Shack makes its own custard ice cream with cane sugar and cage-free eggs to produce thick and luscious milkshakes. Culver's is also known for its custard. In 1984, Culver's began in Sauk City, Wisconsin, serving up its signature butter burgers, cheese curds, and frozen custard. At Culver's, all the frozen custard is made fresh on-site using farm-fresh dairy, which the company says gives the custard the best possible flavor. It's not made in the morning, then put in a freezer. It's made all day long. That's when it's the best. Each shake starts with fresh custard, which is then blended with milk and whatever flavor on the menu you choose. While the flavors do not reach the same level of insanity as somewhere like Five Guys, we are glad to see a place that offers classic flavors using real ice cream. Another contender in the wide world of custard-based milkshakes is Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. Freddy's was founded in 2002 in Wichita, Kansas. However, the restaurant now brings burgers and custard ice cream to locations throughout America. Freddy serves fresh premium custard, which the company churns daily. This custard is the base of its milkshakes and malts. When blended with milk, the end result is a thick and creamy milkshake, and one that surpasses a milkshake made with an ice cream base. Freddy's also keeps it simple with flavors, offering vanilla, chocolate, half and half, and an occasional limited time option. After ordering a thick and creamy milkshake from Freddy's, it will be hard to go back to regular soft serve based milkshakes from other fast food restaurants. So now that we've told you about eight fast food chains that do use real ice cream in their milkshakes, let's look at a few that don't. Dairy Queen was founded in 1940 in Juliet, Illinois. In 1949, its first milkshake appeared on its menu, so it's safe to say milkshakes have been a part of the company's business for a long time. We are sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the truth is, Dairy Queen milkshakes are not made with real ice cream. Moreover, Dairy Queen's soft serve is not considered ice cream at all. This fast food restaurant's shakes and malts are made using milk and Dairy Queen soft serve. However, the company admits that its soft serve isn't technically considered ice cream cream since it only contains 5% butter fat, which is just half the legal requirement for ice cream. So you won't see Dairy Queen using ice cream on any of its advertising. There is no denying that Wendy's Frosty is delicious. The frozen treat is cold, sweet, and creamy, everything we want in a milkshake. Sadly, ice cream isn't one of its ingredients. Wendy's was founded in 1969 by Dave Thomas in Columbus, Ohio. The company immediately began serving up square hamburgers and its signature drink, the Frosty. So if you need your Frosty fix, we got you. But while the hamburgers were famous for using fresh beef, 
the Wendy's Frosty doesn't enjoy the same level of authenticity. If you take a look at the Frosty ingredients list, you'll find things such as water, sugar, and powdered milk. Crucially, the Frosty doesn't contain cream. Instead, to get a rich thickness akin to ice cream, the company uses sunflower creamer and additional stabilizers. While this does create a smooth and creamy experience, it doesn't offer any milk fat, so it can't be called real ice cream. The first iteration of McDonald's started in 1948. Founded by brothers Dick and Mac McDonald, McDonald's basically created the modern-day version of a fast food restaurant. They created the speedy service system to optimize getting food out quickly and cheaply. Speed! That's the name of the game! This new method was used to sell a small menu of just nine items, which included 15-cent burgers, fries, and the most expensive item on the menu, a 20-cent triple-thick shake. The rest is history. However, their milkshakes are made without the use of real ice cream. This may be confusing, as when you look at the ingredients, you see that it is made with vanilla reduced fat ice cream. But it's important to note that this is not ice cream, as it doesn't meet the USDA standards. So why does it get to keep part of the moniker? Prior to 1994, frozen milk products with less than the required 10% milk fat were categorized as a product called ice milk. However, the USDA created new categories that eliminated ice milk and included non-fat, low-fat, reduced-fat, and light. McDonald's soft serve is the basis of its milkshakes and considered reduced-fat. However, the soft serve cannot simply be called ice cream, as once again, it does not meet the legal definition. Chick-fil-A was founded in 1946 in Hapeville, Georgia. What started out as a small, independent restaurant has turned into one of the largest fast food chains in America. Known for its speedy service and chicken sandwiches, its milkshakes have gone on to stand out as well. Of course, that doesn't mean they are made with real ice cream. It's a pretty dead giveaway when a place doesn't even attempt to use the term ice cream or soft serve for its products. Instead, Chick-fil-A uses a product known as Ice Dream. Ice Dream is a thick, soft-serve product made from whole milk, non-fat milk, sugar, milk fat, and non-fat dry milk, among other things. Once again, the ingredient not included here is cream. This means the fat content does not reach the necessary levels to be considered ice cream. When Five Guys opened its doors in 1986, the company focused on freshness. So their burgers were made with unfrozen meat, and their fries were fried in peanut oil. To ensure the meat is fresh, Five Guys opted not to install freezers. Instead, the company used coolers. So how can Five Guys have milkshakes with no freezers? Well, for a long time, the chain did not. In an interview with Inc. in 2010, Five Guys co-founder Jerry Morrell stated that the company never had milkshakes for that reason. Eventually, Five Guys figured it out. In 2014, the guys premiered their milkshake. With no freezers, Five Guys opted to use a vanilla shake base. While it's still tasty, it's certainly not fresh cream, nor does it claim to be. Still, with all the mix-ins available, you can customize a tasty shake however you like. 